right now, Fowl. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this do young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. Dude, oh, oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. Sure, we reached out to everyone and anyone. We're relying on the folks here in Omaha that can put a comment down in the section below. And we'll go back and do an update video with the celebration of golf in that update video. Acknowledging your comment. So let's swing in to number four now on this list. Stone Creek Golf Course. It's a 4.1 out of 5 with 280 golf reviews to choose from. Located in Douglas County, this course was built in 2000 and has 27 holes to choose from. So there's so much golf here to kind of whip around. It's an extremely enjoyable round of golf to go out and play. Of course, when you put together the two demanding nine-hole courses, you're going to be around 6,500 yards with a rating of about 70 and a par 72. The course has a slope of 120, and it's extremely affordable in comparison to courses on the East Coast where we do a lot of our filming and golf reviews. So if you think about joining this channel, we do other things outside of public golf and educational content. So let's swing on now to our number fourth public course you can play in Omaha. Timberon Golf Club and Banquet Center. This course is located in Sharpen County. It's a little bit different county, but the course really does remain an incredible course with 27 holes, again, to choose from. With almost 12 acres of land and lakes that it sits on, there's almost 7,000 of 7,000 yards of wonderful golf to play when you put together these three nine courses in any which way when you play two of them. It was built in 1995 by David Berwin, and the course still remains a popular destination for golf locals and tourists swinging through the area on some business deals. If you're looking to tee up, check out this course in the near future. And more importantly, write down what your comments are. This is more of a Reddit type feel. People are watching and they're not impressed, so they're reading down below now and they're checking out what's going on with other people's comments. And this is where we need you to shine and be involved in the channel. So let's swing on in to our number third course here, Benson Championship Golf Course, with a 4.2 out of 5 and 216 golf reviews to choose from. Again, it has a lot of interesting offers like free golf clinics, which is unique for locals if they're trying to play golf and are learning about golf. The course was built in 1960 five by Larry Pacman and it stretches a long 6,771 yards with a slope of 121 and a rating of 72. This course is considered to be one of the nicer courses when playing from those back tees. And it's important to note if you're playing from those back tees, you might like the channel because we do play from the back tees. We get our money's worth here and we're trying to play each one of the states. Granted, we did play Nebraska. We might go back and try to play in the near future. So hang on tight as we consistently bring you golf content. Like our number two course here, Eagle Hills Golf Club, is a 4.4 out of 5 on Google with 260 golf reviews to choose from. The course was built in 2000, which a lot of these courses were. If you were in this area in 2000, they were probably building a ton of courses. But Eagles Hill Golf Course, which... I think is more of an expensive course. It's a municipal course, but you're going to pay good money. 6,515 yards with a slope of 130 and a rating of 71. It's considered one of the best courses by Golf Digest and Golf Advisor, listing it in 2022 and 2016 as a top 10 course in the state of Nebraska. And if you're from this state, let us know down in the comment section, where are those hidden gems? Is it the next course that's named after a wonderful golfer, Johnny Goodman Golf Course? It's a 4.3 out of 5 with 162 golf reviews to choose from. We know it's a county course. It's a 100% county course. It's even found on Golf Down. These are the courses we target. We love these type of courses. They build a little character. We learn about the course. And the golf architect, Leo 
Howard designed it in 1970, the course stretches a long 6,928 yards with a slope of 129 and a rating of 73.7. The course has five different tee boxes to choose from, but it does get busy out there, especially in the spring to fall months. That's going to do it for our channel. We did play one course in Nebraska, so it has been checked off our list of the 50 courses in each state that we want to play but maybe we'll go back to omaha and sneak into one of these courses based on some of the comments down below that's going to do it if you're watching at least think about playing golf if you're playing golf put us down for watching that's it